So many cities are corrupt and voter fraud is very, very common. The Trump administration seeks to root out alleged rampant voter fraud, a special commission formed to investigate after the president claimed millions of people voted illegally, causing him to lose a popular vote. But here on Delmarva, that commission won't be getting any help. Delaware Election Commissioner Elaine Manlove tells us residents have been calling nonstop. We will not comply. I've had so many phone calls and emails from citizens around the state of Delaware, all four of our offices have been inundated with phone calls and emails from voters who are asking us not to not to send any of their information. The Presidential Advisory Commission on Election Integrity sent this letter to Delaware and similar ones to the rest of the states in the union. Among the things they're requesting, last four digits of Social Security numbers, information on felony convictions, birthdays. But states are saying they're forbidden to provide that. The Office of the Attorney General in Maryland releasing a statement that the requested disclosure is, quote, prohibited by law. Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe releasing this statement on Twitter that reads in part, quote, I have no intention of honoring this request. This entire commission is based on the specious and false notion that there was widespread voter fraud last November. They're studying the registration and voting processes used in federal elections. And they're going to submit a report to the president that identifies laws, rules, policies, activities, strategies, and practices that enhance or undermine the American people's confidence in the integrity of federal election process. Well, if the emails I've received today have said anything about the people's confidence, they are confident that what we're doing is the right thing. Julian Sidor, 47 ABC.